It's like Teresa just, just vanished off the face of the earth. I mean, I don't, know, I don't even know where she is. I think it's obvious, Ethan. I mean, she's off with her lover. No, no. Yes. Come on, she told you about him herself, right? You need to admit it. You need to face it. She's moved on. She doesn't want to be with you anymore. I don't believe it. Not after everything we've been through. Now, I know you have never wanted to admit how selfish Teresa is. I've always known. Hey, you just need to let her go. You're right. <laughs> you know, you're always right. You know, Ethan, I'm always going to be here for you. Jonathan and I, we are your family. We are always, always going to be there for you. I never had a chance to tell him the truth. And now I never will. Hi. We were hoping to see Marty if we could. Oh, I'm sorry. He's had a really long day, and, and he's already gone to sleep. But come on oh, in. Oh, no, we've hardly seen him since he's been home. No. Oh. Hey, Luis, I'm glad you're here, actually. I need to talk to you about Teresa. What about her? Um, have you heard from her? I mean, do you, do you have any idea where she went? Well, well, no. What, did she go out of town or something? Yeah, it's like she vanished. No, my ma hasn't said anything to me. I haven't been around much lately, though. It's weird. I mean, why would she leave town and not tell anyone, especially her family? Well, Teresa can be a little willful sometimes. Sharon, no, no, not this time. She's not acting like herself. I don't know what's going on, but I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Teresa's behavior at the hospital was completely ridiculous. It's as if she didn't even care about Jonathan's crisis at all. Well, that doesn't sound like Teresa at all. And then, then, here, here's the best part. She kept going on and on about this match to a lost earring that she had found. That's what she was excited about in the hospital. And then Gwen comes and tells me that she's going to send little Ethan off out of town for Christmas. Has she lost her mind? Hmm. Maybe something's going around. I think you're right. I think it's another one of her secrets or something. Would you stop looking for something that isn't there? She told you what's going on. You know, she has another man. Come on. It's true. She met him up at the Crane Cabin for New Year's, and Ethan caught her, and she admitted it. Well, I don't believe that. Well, she loves Ethan. Always has, ever since high school. God, we used to have to get her to, to shut up to quit talking about you. I just can't picture her being with anyone else. Luis, you know there have been so many other men. Well, not when it counts. She's totally loyal to Ethan. That's what I thought, too. But she's right. She's right. Teresa admitted to me there was another man at the cabin. Completely out of character for her, too. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't heard it with my own ears. All right, well, then something's going on in this town because everyone's acting weird. You wouldn't even believe what Fancy did tonight. She took Marty and I to the Bruins game. We had a great time. We all bonded. We were together like a family. And we get back here, and she totally freaked out. Started yelling at Sheridan and I, and Marty, too. Really scared him. Fancy? Uh, that's bizarre. I wouldn't have believed it either if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. She's done it before. You said so yourself. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, she did something like this before, and I just chalked it up to her being really stressed out. I didn't think she would do it ever again. I didn't think Teresa would pull a 180 either, but she did that too. I guess we have to bite the bullet on this one. No matter how hard it is to accept, the only people we have to blame for these latest messes are Teresa and Fancy. I still think something's going on. Well, you and Teresa have had a lot of ups and downs, so why don't you just give her the benefit of the doubt? I know she loves you. I thought so too, Louise, but she looked me straight in the eye and she said, there's another man, Ethan. How would you feel if Fancy came to you and said, Luis, got another man? That would never happen. Well, I didn't think it would happen to me either, but it did. There was another man at that cabin. Who was it? 
I don't know. I didn't go in there to find out. Idiot. But if you'd have gone in there, you wouldn't have these questions right now. I just think there's some other explanation than the story that you've been told. Yeah, I hope there is. I'll be damned if I know what it is, though. See, I know that Teresa loves you too much to risk losing you. There has got to be another story. I hope there is. But you shouldn't give up on fancy either because I wasn't there to see what happened, but I know she has a good heart. You need to let her explain. Oh, I will. Besides, I love her too much to lose her anyway. Sheridan, Marty's going to stick to the rest of the night, right? Yes. All right, good. I'm going to go see if I can find fancy and figure out what happened tonight. It's a good idea. Yeah. Look, if I can somehow manage to work things out with Fancy, certainly you can work them out with Teresa. Now is not the time to give up on the women we love. We're the men that we love. We have to do whatever it takes to hold on to them. Whatever it takes. And then some.